everybody, it's been a while since our last video. Oh, but we'll, but we're gonna show you what we've been up to. This is what we've been up to. Oh, it's a 1924 Erg Model T. It's 103 years old. This is a vintage it's original old Kansas license plate from 1920. All right, guys. I'm going to show you the the engine. We did get it converted to 12 volt, so you'll see the alternator right there. Um, there's the carburetor. Really, really old, but it's pretty awesome. It's very, very simple engine. Not a lot of wires at all. Very, very simple. Um, then we'll go over here. There's the side of it. This is a this is a center door. So there's that. So it's that got the means um, only two doors. Yep. One on each side. Yep, directly in the center. Then we got the uh, brass handles here. And from the inside, the, the door inside. opens like this. Yep, to get out, you would you would hit that latch right there. It's got our little little compartments right here in the door. Got the the brass door handle. These windows come down. Um, here's the inside. So we believe these two seats are the original, and then the headliner is original. Then these seat, the back seat, did get reupholstered. Um, but here's the inside of it. So all six of these windows, on both, like three windows on each side, all of them do come down. Um, so then when you get in here, I know it's probably gonna be a little dark in here. So when you get in here, you can see all you got is the amp meter right there. And then the light switch is right here if you turn this on like that. Um, there's the key obviously and then down here it's probably a little dark but there's only three pedals down here this one's going to be your low gear this is going to be your reverse the middle one then the one all the way to the right is going to be your brake and you pretty much control so let's see if you can see it down here everything's black so it's hard to see but um there's this lever right here so all the way back is it fully in park, parking brakes on. Um, when you release this, you put it in the middle, that will be low gear. You push down that, that left pedal right there and it'll start going. Um, and then if you put it all the way to the front and let off that pedal, it kind of shifts. You'll be in high gear and you'll be rolling. Um, this over here, let's see. This right here is going to be your um, timing side, and then this is going to be your throttle side. Here, Greg got a light for me. There's the three pedals down there, and then as you can see, there's the um, there's the handbrake. So then this right here is just your um, choke. And then the electric start on this one is right here. It is also in the floorboard too, but it's really hard to see. Um, the, and then these windows right here, these windows push out by these little levers. And let's see, Grace sitting in the back seat. You love this car, don't you? Yeah. It's fun to drive. <clears throat> we'll show you on another, we'll show you on the next video, us driving it around. It's also a little bit scary. A little scary? Yeah. Why? Just because it's so old? No, the It hill. rocks a little. Oh, yeah. You can't go up any steep hills with this, that's for sure. Um, the gas tank, I will show you the gas tank. And it's weird because you have no seat belts. I'm going to show you the gas tank right here real quick. While I'm trying to get out of here. Well, she locked me in. Anyways, um, so here's the driver's seat. So you take this seat cover off here. And then there's the gas tank right under there. You're literally sitting on the gas tank, you unscrew that, gas is in there. 
That's, that's a it's pretty crazy, honestly. The first time. Let's see what I put it open here. And then you'll see the gas in there. Yep, you can see it right there. Um, yep. Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. So it's all gravity fed right to the carburetor. So if you're going up any steep hills, all this gas is to the back side of this seat here. You're it's gonna stall out and you ain't going anywhere. That's a fact. We've we've had that happen. Yep. You know, we live in Georgia, so there's a lot of hills and stuff. You just gotta be careful where you gotta know the road pretty much. Um so you just don't get any any predicaments. Yeah. And while we're in here, I'll show you this down here. Here's your ignition the coil ignition boxes. Wooden coil ignition boxes right there. Original Ford ones. That is, they make a really really cool sound when they're st when they're fired up. And uh, here we'll try to start it right now. Actually, it might take a little bit. It is a little cold. All right, we're gonna try to start it here. Gotta put the timing down a little bit, and it'll it'll uh, smooth out. There it goes, smooth right out. You can take a little look outside real quick. Gray's going to attempt to show you how the windows go down. So you got to put both hands up, push up, and then they slide down. So you can let it down just like that. And then that little strap right there. Helps the strap, it. Yep, the strap right here is underneath the window and it holds it from falling all the way. And it locks in right there. That's as low as they go. Yep. And so then, then to pull it up, you just have to yep, do the same thing. Yep, you could pull the, pull the strap up. Pull that up, see, comes up, and then she'll slide it up. Don't wash your fingers. Nope. It's really heavy. Yeah, it's a it's a heavy piece of glass, that's for sure. You gotta really know. All right, now push towards, push out, and you'll see it latch. Yep. Nope, push back out. There, there we, go. we go. See, it latches right here on the outside of this little wood metal type railing here. Yeah. It does leave a lot of handprints, but yes, all this, most of this frame on the top is wood. You'll see it right there. It's a little chipped right there. It's wood. This is all wood, and then it's covered. See, some of it down here is metal, but the actual parts of the frame, as you can see right here, is wood. And it does have. So these wheels right here are wood. These are wood wheels. We have got. Yes, I know we need new tires. Tuesday. We're we're working on that new tire thing, but. And we've gone and all the car shows we've gone to, we have one. Yes, we have. Like something. Yep, we're on a we're on a little streak. Um. And I have a Volkswagen um, doodle bug, and we have been in it, and I have entered it in a uh, thing too. Yep. So here's the back. I got the spare tire. Not much going on back here. It's a little hard to see, but yeah. basically yeah. just the same. You got the running boards here all the way to the front. And then you do have the other door right here. This one, since it is wood, it, 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 does, have, it does struggle to close on this side with the lineup right here. See the wood doesn't line up too well. Um, but that's just part of it. It's 103 years old, so um, there's the strap. And I'm gonna go on the other side. I'm gonna show you what the, this floorboard's made out of. There you go. It's shut. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here and show you what this floorboard's made out of. I think this corner right here we could pull up. I left it 
All right. So here's the floorboard, and this is original pallet wood. It's what Henry Ford used for all the wood on the cars, from what I hear in red. He used pallet wood. So his whole floor is made out of pallet wood. So I think it's that's that's a really cool part of the car. A lot of wood in these things. Um, like I said, I think we're missing the stand for this. It, this seat's supposed to sit up a little higher, but I usually take this seat out anyways because it does get a little crammed in here. It may look kind of big in, on the video, but anybody that owns these things knows that they are hard to get in and out of. Yeah, it And they are small, so there's gray sitting normal. <laughs> And, and I mean, there's got, a lot of room in here, but it does get a little tight. Yeah, because like if you took everything out of it, it would probably be pretty big. Yeah. But so we this, take this seat out, and we and then it leaves us all this room here, and all that room there. So it. But we love this thing, and uh, I'll show you the roof up here. I'll stand up here and show you, show you what we're working with. Here's the roof. A little like, there's like a little rain gutter right here that runs off so the water doesn't get trapped and here's the top of the door i was trying to get up here and you can see that it's wood top of this door is wood so this is what we've been up to lately we got this and then we got another surprise that you might see in the background you might not i don't know yet we'll have to see but we'll do another video on that another day um, we just wanted to show you guys what we've been up to with this. And here's another overlook shot of it. And there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for m or more or things what we have been doing in the past few months.